Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to repair problems that would cause blue screens on your computer or make you have to boot into safe mode to make changes. Let's go to our computer. And typically a blue screen is caused by either Windows um, default programs not executing correctly or by some kind of hardware. So I'm going to show you first how to look at the hardware. Click on your start button, go to computer, and then right, and right click on computer and click manage. Now on Vista you have to be an administrator, so let's click continue. Let's go to device manager. Now if you've just very recently started uh, getting blue screens and you also know that you've added some type of hardware to your computer, you can come into this system here and uh, actually disable that hardware to see if it's what's causing your blue screens. Like for instance, I'm going to choose uh, my DVD and CD-ROM drive here. I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to actually disable the driver for that hardware. Now to give you a warning that uh, the hardware will no longer function when it's disabled. And I'm just going to click yes. Now what that causes to happen is Windows will no longer load the driver for that hardware. And it's typically the driver that interacts with Windows operating system that causes the blue screens to occur. So the next thing I want you to try from there is let's click on our start button again. Uh, right above there, type CMD as command. Let's right click on that and run as administrator. Now click continue. Now what you want to do from here is run what's called the system file checker. The way you do that is you run SFC space slash scan now. All one word. You press enter. It's going to launch the Windows System File Checker. It could take some time to run, but that's going to go through each of the Windows files and make sure that they're operating correctly and they are in their original states and have not been modified. You might need your Windows CD for that to, to work. Just let that run and uh, see if that fixes your blue screen problem. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to repair blue screens or other problems that make you go into safe mode.